tell you what they're going to do is somebody in the, the government's point of view is now going to propose to you an offer, a, con- a condition to surrender or conditional acceptance of a, uh, uh, let's see if we could just, look, let's just all kumbaya this and give each other a big hug and say, let bygones be bygones. And you know what? As long as you let us come to the house once a year, and stick our foot in the door and take a look, make sure everything's okay, and you're not smoking pot no more, and you come down for a drug test maybe every, every random time, well, we'll be more glad to turn the kids back. That's exactly what they're going to try to propose. Right. But if you didn't do this crazy stuff that I told you to do, they totally ignore you for years. These people are evil. They're just freaking evil. Yeah. But they're going to try to come and bring the nice woman or the nice man with a nice hat, nice pocketbook, nice pair of shoes, nice dress, the nice man that's with cologne and shaved, tight, you know, tight trim haircut. They're just evil. They couldn't care less if you sat in a box in a cage for the rest of your life and your children watched you through a plastic screen. They couldn't care less. Oh, not at all. So as long as you always remember to be extremely polite to these people, extremely courteous, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, hi, ma'am, being fairly be polite, but just realize that you're trying to make a deal with the devil. And I don't care how tempting the offer is and how sweet it sounds and, and kumbaya it's going to end, I am telling you, you're still there dancing with the devil, and you're going to get burned. Whether you, whether you believe it or not, you're going to get burned by these people. They have always have a way of backtracking, double speaking, and making there's you believe. Something in there somewhere. Yeah, there's something in there. There's oh, like I said, oh, that judge was nice and sweet. And when when Greg told me that, I went bananas. I said he did what? Well, don't claim it as property. Do uh, human beings? What? No. Hey, stop. <laughs> Greg, they didn't do that, did they? And I said, you know what? Let me talk to this lady. Tell the lady to be off. We'll do a show at eight thirty. Tell her to get on, and uh, let, let me see if I can get her to understand this a little more clearly, because this is going to take a little bit of a whacking with a hammer in, in the people's heads to start to make them understand. Stop this. You're the king. You're the queen. You're competing court. They jump through the hoops. They do what you order. If they, nobody appears before that court that day with a superior claim to the possession of that property, the property is being held in naked possession, which means without right, by some foreign entity. And you order it to cease and dismiss immediately after that, that property be, can, to be transferred back to its proper place of jurisdiction, which is 106 Apple Street, New Brunswick, wherever you happen to live. Right. And that's it. And if they don't do it, then you sue them. That's right. And they that's basically where we're sitting right now. It's like, here you go. This is, bring your superior claim, and if you don't do it, and, and that's essentially what the judge is. It almost seems like he's trying to help us do. He's, he's like, you know, I, I know, yeah, I completely understand where you're coming from. I know that you guys know what you're talking about. You're very articulate. You're very sharp. You're very bright. Yeah, yeah get rid of superior claim. Get rid of superior. Just claim. Stop the missing capacity of the subject or the noun. Yeah. It's a claim. Bring a claim before this court. And this court is the court of Jesse and whatever your husband's name is. This court. Right, Jonathan. Yeah. Right, not family court, not civil court. Bring it before the Jesse Jonathan court. Because if you look in the United States Supreme Court rulings, it'll say in the Roe, in the, in the Roe case, or the uh, Hiddle case, or the Terry case, it, 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 and, and that's what they'll say. And then if you read, like, say, it's a, uh, or they'll say it's like a, the, the Hale versus Hinkle, they'll say in the Hinkle court. Or if it was Sanford versus Jones, they'll say in the Sanford court. They don't say in the Middle District Court of Te- Kentucky where the trial was held. Now it's up here in the Supreme Court. They'll say the Sanford Court or the Hibble Court or the Terry Court. It's your court now. So you stylize it to some extent to appear in the Jesse, what's your husband's name again? Jonathan. The Jesse Jonathan Court. The Jonathan Jesse Court is going to convene on, and uh, anybody who wants to bring a claim forth to the Jesse Jonathan Court, when the judge sees that, he's going to. Or brought a pickle. I am telling you, he is going to know you know, well, now you know, but you didn't know 10 seconds ago, that you know law like nobody else knows. He's going to think you're a rocket scientist. He's like, how the hell do these people know this? He's like, well, tell him some clown from Virginia told you. <laughs> you know, <but> then, <laughs> they're going to say, holy Jesus, how does this lady know this? How does she know the state of the Jonathan Jesse court is going to convene on a tent? And if anybody wants to... Uh, uh, dress court and come with a claim, it, 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 this is the time to make their claim known to court. There you go. Or said court. Oh, that's even worse. S-A-I-D court. Said court. Because you already established the Jonathan Jesse court. Or you use your last name, which is even better. 
A Livermore Court, whatever you guys go, go by. What's your last names? Uh, Little and Arsenal. What? Arsenal? <laughs> Little and Arsenal, yeah. There you go. Little Arsenal Court. There you go. Or oh, if you're the mom, I'd put it under the mom's name. These kids are young, right? That's right. They're young. Yeah. I, I, who's the who's the Arsenal, the woman? Uh, the, uh, well, the, the Arsenal is me. Uh, that's yeah. my maiden name. And uh, all the I'd others... All yeah, the children go by little other than uh, one who is from uh, yeah. my previous relationship. If they're not what I'm saying, so I would make it the Arsenal Court if you're the mother. The more Arsenal and then the next person's name. Yeah. Because you want you want the mother to be in total control of little ones That's because right. she's got the capacity to deal with that, not a man. I don't care. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not on your team on this one. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. But it, it's the mom's property. She did nine months. I explained that yesterday. You know, like I say to people, I said, if me and Greg, we get along great, I chop down a tree. It took me 10 minutes to chop the tree and drag it down here. I did 10 minutes' work. Greg whittled that chair for the next nine months. Now, I could say, well, I gave Greg the ability to whittle that chair because he was in my house using my electricity while I was feeding him and uh, while I was providing everything for him. It's like, you know what? I could sue him for the electricity he used then. I could sue him for the food he ate. I could sue him for the rent, but I can't sue him for the chair. That's his chair. He produced it. He labored it. That's his chair. He's the creator. He's the laborer of that chair. All I do is put 1% into that chair. He has, to my belief, he has the right to totally claim it because that's 99% of that chair. It's Greg's chair. I assume if it was, you know, because he occupied my house. It's the same thing with a wife. It's her child. Can you sue her for the electricity for housing her for nine months? Sure. Can you sue her for eating nine months worth of food? Sure. But don't dare think for a second you're going to sue for that child. You only put 10 minutes into it. Yeah. So, see, that's how I look at it. So, I'm not trying to bash men and I'm not trying to, you know, glorify women, you know. But I'm just trying to say this is the way I would look at it when somebody produces anything, whether it's a chair or a child. 